Hello, young entrepreneurs. My name is Eric Kroon. I am currently a parent and community liaison for New Paradigm Schools. I am also a former NFL player, and I also run my own training business, E-Line Training. Just here to uh, give you a few words of encouragement and advice, tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm originally from Detroit, Michigan. Grew up uh, midtown and on the west side. Attended Detroit Central High School. Graduated class of 2011 where I went on to Syracuse University on the athletic scholarship and graduated in 2015. Right here, I got my degree as well. You know, one of my biggest accomplishments from Syracuse, you know, especially coming from the PSL. Uh, I got my degree in child and family studies, so I'm able to work with kids and do all uh, other sorts of cool stuff. Uh, just tell you a little bit about my journey as a professional. Uh, my first job was actually an uh, NFL player. So that was pretty cool, but uh took a lot of hard work and dedication to get there. And then it came to a point like where it was a struggling after football was done. I had to kind of figure it out. So that was a very trying time in my life. So I actually did a few different things, tried a couple different things, uh, worked in enterprise, did stuff for kids as well. And I just kind of figured out I wanted to do something different for myself and something that I really love. So one night uh, I just sat with my wife. We wrote up a blueprint for my uh Training business, E-Line is something I love to do, and it's just fun. And I encourage you guys always do, you know, chase the dream, not the money for the most part. The money will come when you uh, complete your journey and complete your dream, honestly. For me, like even playing professional sports, the dream was to be a professional. Like the money was great and, you know, up upgrade your situation, but it was all about chasing the dream and accomplishing something that you set out for. So there's a lot of struggles and trying times, especially I would say in college, you know, uh, I'm far from rich when I was uh, growing up or anything like that. So you had a lot of hard nights, had to figure it out, you know, eat some cereal, some noodles, some of those good things. But and just uh, picking up on the learning, too, I would say was a struggle as well. Coming from public schools in Detroit, like you really were kind of behind the eight ball when I got to college, even stuff like words, word cited pages and things like that I was struggling with. So I had to catch up and, you know, just grind to get to where everybody else was at, which was a great challenge for me because I put out my mind to do something, you know, get an education out of which I was able to do from a high level, high level university, which I never imagined growing up. So that was a great accomplishment for me and to set me off along my journey. And another thing I learned was how important networking and building relationships is. I know as you guys, as young entrepreneurs, that is something you really want to get into, building relationships and network on all different types of people. Get outside your comfort zone. Network with people that don't look like you or in different fields. You want to learn as much as possible to get where you're going. Whether it's you might just want to learn how to manage finances and your business has nothing to do with finances. Just to know when it's your time. Okay, now you know how to operate with finances. Or reach out to people too. Like A big thing I learned across my journey is don't be scared. You know, make mistakes or reach out to people. Like Even if they don't even reply to you, just know you you know, reached out to them. Like, I would reach out to athletes in college. Hey, you need to... Uh, when I was in college, hey, you got a few words of advice for me along my journey, anything. And sometimes I might just reply back for you. It'd be something that can really be helpful for you. Like, you guys not reach out to people that, you know, feel successful or something that's somebody's doing something that you want to do to help prepare you to what you really want to do. But don't don't feel like uh, nobody on this thing is more special than you. We're all great people that had a lot of tough, tough trials and tribulations along our journey. We just found a way to figure it out. So my biggest words of encouragement to you guys is don't let nobody deter you. If you have a goal, don't let nobody tell you to stop what you can't do and all that. Because for me personally, somebody told me I would never play Division One football, and I made it all the way to the NFL. So words can just be used as motivation. Every time somebody tries to break you down, put it in your mind as motivation to build yourself back up. Because there are going to be hard times you want to give up and quit and, you know, it's just going to be real struggle sometimes. You but Sometimes you don't know your purpose and all that. But just always remember what was your goal and what was your purpose to accomplish. Don't let nobody deter you. Be special. Be great. And like I said, use all these people on this video. Also, as allies, reach out to us. You know, We're always willing to help with words, encouragement, and, be, and help produce the next generation to be great young men and young women. So keep being excellent. Focus hard in school. Learn. Learn outside of school, too. Read. Whatever field you want to get in, you know, research on it. You got so many tools now where you can pull up everything from your phone. So don't be scared to learn something new. Just try to learn you something new 
every day, every day, because it's going to be a struggle. Like even me, when I started my training business, I didn't know anything about being in business. All that I just knew I was good at football, at training kids. But now I had to look at the business aspect of setting appointments, being timely, being the man of your word. You know, having people trust you. Like I would say, the biggest thing for me in business was building relationships with my clients. Like for me to train, I know their birthdays, you know, I know what, what's going on in their life. It's bigger than just me training. And I realize that people buy more into me than just the training. And once they realize the training is great, it's just a two for one. So make sure you build those strong relationships, learn how to talk to people, learn new skills. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Be great scholars, continue to be excellent. Looking forward to seeing you guys do big things in the future.